Hello guys, today I will be talking about the theories of referred pain as well as the gait control theory of pain. So moving on with the theories of referred pain, the first theory that we come across is the convergence theory. In case of the convergence theory, the afferent impulses that arise from the visceral as well as the somatic structures enter the CNS at the same level and they converge on the same spinothalamic neurons. As a result, the signal reaching the somatosensory cortex is misrepresented as having arisen from the somatic structure. The next theory is uh, facilitation theory. In case of the facilitation theory, the afferent impulses from the visceral structure produces subliminal fringe. As a result, the threshold of excitability of uh, spinothalamic neurons is decreased. Therefore, any slight afferent from the somatic structure succeeds in generating action potential within the spinothalamic neurons. As a result, pain is felt. Thus, facilitation occurs. Now, moving on with the gait control theory of pain. In case of gait control theory of pain, the pain is determined by interaction among three systems in dorsal horn of the spinal cord. These three systems are T cells, substantia gelatinosa cells, L fibers and S fibers. The T cells causes activation of the lateral spinothalamic tract which results in pain. The L fibers as you can see in the diagram causes activation of substantia gelatinosa cells as well as activation of the T cells whereas the S fibers causes inhibition of substantia gelatinosa cell as well as activation of T cells. Therefore Substantia gelatinosa cell, as you can see in the diagram, causes inhibition of the terminal fibers of both DL as well as S fibers. Therefore, a stimulation of T cells by L fibers is cut off by negative feedback of the substantia gelatinosa cells, and a stimulation of T cells by S fibers is increased by positive feedback through inhibition of substantia gelatinosa cells. This is the gate control theory of pain. Thank you.